Merhaba Türkiye. Let's go first. Yeah. I'm Marcus Daniel from New Zealand, and uh, I'm here with this guy who's going to rap his name. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. I'm not definitely not doing that. Oh, the sun don't shine forever, check, but as check. long as we're here, we might as well shine together. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Artem Sitak from New Zealand also, from Auckland. Yo. Yo. <laughs> take that one. I'll take that one. Uh, I was here last year for the for the first tournament, uh, the first ATP tournament here. So this is, I guess you could say I'm a veteran of this tournament. <laughs> Um, and Istanbul is just so big, there's so much to do. Uh, I haven't even touched on all the places I could go exploring, but uh, so far we've been really enjoying it. I've been to Turkey many times, many, many times. Uh, I can't even remember how many times I've been here. Um, and uh, yeah, Istanbul is a great city and uh, we played this morning, we won, so I'm really happy about that. Of course, that doesn't affect my mood if we win or lose, but I'm still happy. You're always happy. <laughs> always happy. Perfect. I have the favorite thing. Go. My favorite thing is to play, for example, on the center court when a lot of people are watching you, and it's just so much fun. And I just, I love that feeling. You know, interact with the crowd. You know, play some unbelievable points. You know, jump a few times here and there. So uh, yeah, that's 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 the greatest feeling there is. Yeah, for me. What about you? I. I like seeing new places, like seeing new cities. I don't really like the getting to and to each city. Like I, I'm not a big fan of airports or airplanes. Like I find them really uncomfortable. I think once you get over a certain height, it's just impossible to be comfortable in an airplane. Um, but I like going to new places and seeing new cities. And you meet, you really do meet some cool people. From and yeah, like <laughs> like, like like you guys, like you guys. <laughs> I think tennis, if, if, especially if you're doing things by yourself, if you're organizing your own flights, organizing your own travel, organizing the hotel, all that sort of stuff, I think if you're doing all of this stuff yourself, then you become incredibly independent and the skills that you learn by doing everything yourself are very, very transferable to whatever you do after you're finished with tennis. So in any career you decide to take up, I think those skills can transfer. If you've got a team around you who are doing it for you, it might be a little bit different, but being doubles players, you know, we don't really have that luxury. So I think that's the, that's the, the biggest part of tennis that you can transfer. Obviously there's the stuff like hard work and determination and everything, everything on court that you need, um, which can apply in other parts of your life, but I think the, the independence and the organization are, are skills that are useful whatever you decide to do afterwards. I'll tell you what's changed. First impression, yeah, I mean, the place is so big, it's, it's so nice, I mean, you got everything here, you got hard courts, clay courts, uh, indoor hard, indoor clay, gym, a really nice gym, this is a great place to train, I mean, if I'd, if I'd be training here, it would be my base, for example, I'd be really happy because everything is here and you can definitely improve on, in every aspect because everything is here. And an amazing center court too, yeah. with a roof, which is huge. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so last year, <coughs> this was a clay court, so was that. I played on this court, which was <laughs> clay. Uh, and there were more clay courts at the front, now they've made heaps of hard courts. Um, and did, last year I don't think the stadium had a roof. Did it have a roof? Yeah, so that's changed as well. Um, it's, it's a pretty impressive place to, to come to. Like, you don't see many stadiums like that, for especially for ATP 250s. And also we, we were watching uh, on the finals day on Sunday when the women were finishing and what's her name, Chala? Mm -hmm. Chala, Chala yeah. was in the final and, and it was just packed and so loud. And we, so we were watching most of the match. We came out here to practice and we were down the other end practicing. And we knew she was winning. Yeah, we knew we every point knew she, she was won. winning. It was so loud. <laughs> And uh, we actually we went back in and, and managed to catch match point. And that was a really really cool thing to see. It was cool. it was amazing to see how how much Turkey got behind their player. It was really cool. One, up two, at the end. two, three. Because the world of sports, sports Chuck Güzel Bir Yer. Yeah. <laughs> three. Bizim maçe gal ve izle. Thumbs up also. <laughs> Orada görüşmek üzere. <laughs> 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 the last one. What did you do? I was the last one. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>